We'll wait for you to get up here. Yeah. I have to do that. Hello. Uh, we are group four. I'm Eddie Martinez. I'm Norma Gonzalez Ramirez. I'm Abby Garza. Adrian Garza. Odette Ramos. And we are the team that could not make it tomorrow. <laughs> Our goal is to provide the zoo with a platform to extend their profits. Um, and through that, we are trying to. Uh, enhance animals through social network um, and using social media as a platform uh, and enhance the user experience. So analyzing the zoo's current business structure, we have identified key strengths, opportunities, weaknesses, and threats. So let's go ahead and start off with the educational. So the San Antonio Zoo actually holds many educational programs for children entering kindergarten all the way to ninth grade. Um, unlike the Houston or the Austin Zoo, the San Antonio Zoo actually begins as early as May. And not only that, but they're actually more affordable. The Austin Zoo's rates are actually at $275, with the Houston Zoo rate being at $300 a week, versus the San Antonio Zoo, who has it at $205 for a four-day experience, and a weekly experience at $225. Another strength that they have is family experience. So the San Antonio Zoo actually has many different experiences. One that's coming up is Mother's Day brunch. They also, also, they also have the beastly breakfast with the hippo. They have the Festival de Animales. They have uh, the, the, the many holidays and seasonal events such as the Boo Zoo, the Zoo Lights, the Zoo Ball, as well as the bowling for the, bowling for the rhino. So conservation, that's another strength that the San Antonio Zoo actually has as well. So they do strive to be in a conservation learning center. As a matter of fact, in 2017, the San Antonio Zoo actually received an American Humane Award for their contribution and the well-being that they provide to current animals. So top 10 trim advisors. So that's obviously a big one, and it, I think it has a lot to do with the fact that they're located near uh, Brackenridge Park, which is conveniently directly south from the International Airport, as well as 3.4 miles north from the Riverwalk. So it's a, at a very convenient midpoint location. So opportunity. So this is a big one. So there is a need to create a resonating theme that best markets and fits the needs of children and that is superheroes. That is what's trending. So by providing animated character, character portrayals to the behind the scenes animals, you will be able to effectively market to the community and thereby increase total sales. So social media. This is, a, this is also another big one as well. You really need to expand your online marketing personnel. Um, you really want to really, you, you really want to be in the platform that best markets and targets with these individuals. And that is Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, you name it. And not only that, but it's also important to have character profiles with some of these animals. For instance, you want your hippo to be trending, causing feud with the other hippo in the Austin or in the Houston Zoo. So providing them with that profile will bring greater attention onto you. Not only that, it would also be beneficial for you to have YouTube videos of the behind the scenes animals. So you get a little bit of sneak peek as to what it is that you're offering. Community outreach. This is obviously a big one. It's very important to have affiliation with the school. So by reaching out to the school district, you'll be able to really target school age children. Give them the ability to earn uh, you know, recognition and prizes through their work of art submissions and different types of writing assignments. Did you know? It's always good to have quick information tidbits as to what it is that the zoo is currently working on, what future projects they're, they're doing. But not only that, having information signs within the zoo. Did you know signs? If I'm going by the reptilian amphibian section, I want to see a sign that says, you know, tortoise. Did you know they can live up to 100 years old? You go to the tortoise and you can find out that they actually hold a behind the scenes experience. So threats, there is a lot of attractions in the San Antonio Zoo and all of these things are gonna pull away some of that market share. You know, you have Six Flags, SeaWorld, you have more up north, you have Slaterbond and down south, what you have the wax and this and that. There's so many different attractions that are really gonna affect you. Safari, this one has to be separated on its own because we're talking about a 450 acre attraction that provides a self-motorized experience. You're able to engage with over 500 animals that are derived from 40 exotic uh, species. So as a result, their, their prices are not only more affordable, but it's just more convenient to the family. And not only that, they're actually a conservation entity as well. They provide educational backgrounds and they even have videos as well of some of their animals. The weather. So this is an, an external factor that yes, the zoo cannot control. Nevertheless, it's important to mention. As a matter of fact, in San Antonio annually, there is about 32 inches of rain. 
And, I don't, and even though we have about 220 sunny days on average, the unpredictability of storms and heavy rains are really going to affect uh, the park hours. Funding. This is obviously another big one as well. The zoo has to rely heavily on partnerships and on donations. So you have different nonprofit organizations fighting for that company. You know, who is that company going to choose to give that tax deductible? And even if they choose you, plans take time to be approved. They have to go through distinct channels. And because of that, it may take years to implement. So weaknesses. This correlates actually with the funding. The San Antonio Zoo struggles to maintain routine operations. And because of that, areas that really need to be improved cannot be done because it's operating under a limited budget. Outdated, this correlates as well. The zoo looks old and outdated. Things are falling apart. You need to have major renovations. Routine maintenance needs to be put in place. You need to bring lively, positive image to the zoo. Non-popular animals. So even though the zoo currently has four behind the scenes animals, the current lineup includes the okapi, which by the way, I thought it was a mutated horse or something that came from the upside down. I wasn't really sure. Luckily, Norma educated me about it. But, it, but nonetheless, you wanna have more engaging animals such as the gorilla, the elephant, aquatic animals, or other amphibians or reptiles that don't walk at one picosecond per mile. And lastly, bundling websites. So come on, let's face it, in today's landscape environment, we want to be able to really customize our own experiences, whatever fits our wants and our needs. And the San Antonio Zoo does not provide that. You have to purchase the admission ticket separate from the family experience ticket. Not only that, it's not even in the same tab. You have to go to a different tab in order to choose which animal you want to find and then purchase that ticket. All right, so taking all of that into consideration, strengths, weaknesses, all that, we were uh, focusing on one of our objectives, objectives, which is to enhance the experience. So as a team, we came up with this big idea, and we wanted to go into their social media to see what do people like, what are they interested in, how can we relate to them. So what we found was the San Antonio Zoo has its own Twitter handle, and they also have Timothy the Hippo handle. Timothy the Hippo lives in the San Antonio Zoo, and he has this romantic uh, relationship going on with Fiona from the Cincinnati Zoo. What we noticed was that even though the San Antonio Zoo has a lot more followers, they actually get, Timothy gets more likes, and that's because he has less followers. So we noticed that people want to engage with this kind of media. They want to relate to Tim Timothy. They want to share it with their friends. They want to share it on social media. They want to talk about it. So that's where we came up with our idea, uh, a contest, a uh, yearly contest for grade school students. Uh, this was more to enhance uh, kids' artistic skills and the writing skills, uh, right? So something that keeps them going, something that's fun. Uh, we separated uh, kindergarten through fifth grade was the rhino and hippo, and then sixth through twelfth was old happy and tortoise. We separated so it would be equal opportunities so the kids can challenge themselves accordingly. Uh, this was also would be for a yearly thing, uh, so you can create a superhero for that animal. So now we're creating a theme for those behind the sword uh, tours uh, events, right? Uh, a kid would love to create something and then go see it displayed and say, here's here's my story, here's my picture of the, the hippo, right? Um, and this would also have, you can also win prizes if the zoo wanted to do something like that. Scholarships, uh, things, yearly scholarships for each winner. Um, so it gives the kids something to strive for. Um, and also helps the parents say, you know what, I want to take my kid to go see our, our uh, animal that we want. These are my, my kids and nieces. Obviously I have three kids, not five. Um, and as you can see, skill ranges varyingly. Uh, so this is my oldest, so it looks a little bit better than the other ones. Uh, but after they're, or while they're doing this, they're, they ask why we're doing it, uh, because it's to help me for the project. But also, if it was, I also explained, if it was a contest, would you like to see yours presented at the zoo? And they're like, yes, can we go to the zoo now? Right, so it, it triggers that kid to say, I wanna go. Uh, so, helps with sales. So the logo, obviously we wanted to conserve wildlife, so you think of the earth, because we want um, the future for the wildlife, somewhere for they, them to live, and of course we also want to protect our earth. So the superhero theme, obviously uh, something similar to the movie Kung Fu Panda and the Fearsome Five, 
relates a lot to the younger kids. Uh, my son definitely loves superheroes, you know, Batman, Superman. But you want to relate it, obviously, to the animals. So this is the image that we came about. So the superheroes saving the Earth. So giving those uh, work of art submissions, we decided to create a character sample. So here we have Franklin, a.k.a. Tortura, who is an ancient warrior and training masters in the arts of Mugai Ryu. So previously known to have been a part of the Daigo clan, Franklin left his former life behind in order to pursue a career in saving children and providing education to them. Despite being over 100 years old and still considered relatively young, Franklin was not as fragile as he appeared. Rumors say Franklin is over 550 pounds. I once heard a predator try to sh strike Franklin, but his unbreakable shell left his predator with shattered teeth. Possessing such power and effective defense system, Franklin traveled to a kingdom that would not only teach children, but would fight off known villains. Traveling from the Sakali Islands located near the Indian Ocean, Franklin moved in small spaces and used his shell to hide from patrols in an attempt to reach an animal ship. There, Franklin learned of a place in America that would not only teach children, but was filled with other warriors. Having waited over 100 years to fulfill his purpose, Franklin arrived at the gates of the San Antonio Zoo where the heroes are waiting for his entrance. Tortura's mission had finally been achieved. Blame it over dramatic, but it gets the job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so who do we want to reach with this? So we came up with two target markets. Um, the primary would be the kids from ages 4 to 18 or grades kinder through 12. And then our secondary market would be parents from ages 24 to 45. Why did we pick these markets? was because according to the San Antonio Zoo, 75% of their ticket sales are for locals. So we're like, you know what, let's just keep it focused on locals. So we created two personas for each target market, and the first one is Priscilla. She's a second grader at Cooper's Elementary, and her favorite TV show is Barbie YouTube, even though her mom hates it, but that's her favorite show. Her hobby is she's a Girl Scout, and her favorite zoo animal is the hippo. For our secondary market, we have Joel. He is 34 years old, has two kids, three and six years old, He's lived in San Antonio for all of his life, born and raised here, and he makes about 60000 a year, and he is an obsessive Fiesta metal collector. But who is it in San Antonio, right? And his favorite zoo animal is the giraffe. And having these two target markets, first we want to target the kids, and of course the kids will need the parents to take them there and give them money. Okay, so this is one of the survey questions that we asked on our Facebook. So what's the primary reason you go to the zoo? Ma majority of it was to spend time with your family. So uh, another question was how many have kids and grandkids? So obviously more than 50% of the survey people, they have kids. So definitely that is a market that we want to reach out to. Was, what was the age range of your kids or grandkids? Uh, a lot of it, 33% said they didn't, right? But, so maybe nieces, nephews, whatever, some type of family. Uh, because most of it was family time, that's what we figured. Um, and 17.6% was in our target market, the five to eight uh, range. Uh, so another question that we had was, do you feel that your kid or grandkid uh, will relate to the animal if it had a background story, a character name, and animation created for it. I mean, I relate with Tortura, so obviously a lot of people relate with Tortura. And so out of these 102 responses, we asked how much would you be willing to pay for a behind the scene tour that lets you get up close to four animals and feed them? And a lot of people wouldn't pay more than $75. So we did figure that out and implemented it into our recommendations, will come, which will come later on. Okay, so the product is the behind the scenes tours. Currently, um, the San Antonio Zoo offers four, the Okathi, the, right, the white rhino, the hippo, and the tortoise. Um, not only is going to the zoo educational, but where else can you get up close and personal with the animals on the behind the scenes tours at the zoo? Um, then we go for the prize. So the bundling of the four animals for $100, including the admission fee, that takes up a lot of time and money saved on the consumer's part. Um, no one likes to stand in line waiting. And so 
by bundling, you're getting more bang for your buck, so to say. Uh, the distribution, online, online ticket sales. You can only buy them online due to space and the availability of the animals anyway. So by, by bundling, going back to the price, by making it all like together, the ticket plus the uh, behind the scenes tour, it just, it, it's more time efficient for the consumer and makes them want to buy it. Uh, the Philadelphia Zoo actually does that. They have the behind the scenes tour at a set price, which includes the uh, admissions ticket already there, which makes it easier to buy. And then promotion, social media. Uh, on Facebook, I want to say the San Antonio Zoo has over 150,000 followers and their Twitter has about 8,000. So by doing online polls to, uh, for the uh, people to get engaged on judging the art contest, it makes them feel validated, like their opinions being heard. And hopefully that brings awareness and excitement about going to the tours and going to see these animals in person. So recommendations. Um, I personally took my family to the behind the scenes tours for the rhino and recommend uh, more signage and promotions of the tours, just a better explanation. Uh, obviously the bundling of the two animals for 50, more people would prefer, I think, to see uh, a flat 50 or $100 prize for two or four animals. Then a script, um, the person that should be giving the tour should be very education, educated on the animal they're presenting, given uh, really good facts or just did you know this type of information on the animal. And my recommendation, or our recommendation, is a VIP treatment. Um, maybe creating lanyards for your customers, uh, picking them up in a golf cart, transferring them from one animal to the other, uh, and then a souvenir a bucket of popcorn. Keep in mind, yes, you're losing out on the popcorn, but who wants popcorn without a pop? So you would save, you would get them to purchase your drinks. Um, also want to explain the purpose of the script. When I went to the behind the scene tours, uh, the guy that was telling me the tour just did not have very good knowledge about the rhino. And then the signage, I went to four different people that didn't know what I was talking about. So it would be very beneficial if the zoo would educate their whole staff about the behind the scene tours. No, what Adrian uh, talked about was the did you know posters. Uh, this is just good information, good tidbits to post to social media. Uh, however, whenever to say what the zoo's doing, what what's going on. Hey, let's get more uh, people into our, our our zoo website. So did you know? Find out more information and click here. Right, and just more driving factors. Um, the more in adding more engaging experiences. The Cincinnati Zoo, for example. Uh, you get to, the elephant will paint a portrait for you or a painting, and while that painting is drying, you get to give the elephant a bubble bath. I mean, come on, who doesn't want to spend money for that? That is amazing. So if the San Antonio Zoo can do something similar, that would, people will pay for that. I would pay for that. Um, and adding discounts for their memberships. Uh, the Oregon Zoo, actually, for their more pricier behind-the-scenes tours, like the Sea Otter, uh, non-members pay 75, whereas the members pay 70. That may not seem like much for one person, but if you have a family of four, it adds up. So the budget. Uh, we went ahead and calculated the sales of the behind-the-scenes tours to roughly come out to 172000 Keep in mind that this is just sales for the behind the scenes, not the fixed cost to keep the animals and uh, maintain the zoo, because that's definitely already in progress. Um, the 172 is really, compared to the population that actually goes to the zoo, it's less than 1%. So by targeting these kids, uh, definitely I think you can meet those numbers. And then we have expenses. Uh, our group really recommends that you have to have a full-time employee to administer the contest, to do the copies, to send to the different schools, uh, maybe even drive the golf cart. Then definitely you need volunteers. Obviously that's free, but you need to educate those volunteers, so that would be the full-time staff. Um, 
I saved, I put some expenses for keeping up with the survey, purchasing the golf cart, purchasing the popcorn buckets. And definitely you don't want to buy all your buckets at, at one time, so you want to maybe every three or four months restock your buckets. And then at the bottom, we went ahead and kept in mind the giveaways. So you're still in the positive. Uh, your expenses were like 44000 compared to the 172 that you're making in sales. And that concludes the presentation. If you have any questions. Thank you. <laughs> I've got to be honest, one of the best prepared presentations I've ever seen in classes. In classes. <laughs> That's me. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, let's, let's start with the questions. Um, I just said, well done, well presented, no notes, I like that. <laughs> you said no notes. Yeah, so. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> uh, I always say it, but they still have them. Tortura, right? I like the fact you put the, the, the brand to life, you put that. But how is he connected to the four animals? Do they have a... A tortoise. Yeah, yes. they have it. Yeah, okay, yeah, sorry. So yeah, all okay. these four animals are part of the behind the scenes. Yes. So you all, did you develop the other three too? Or? Yes, they're in the booklet. They're in the booklet, okay, yeah. okay. So that was a question, okay. And as a matter of fact, if you go back to the slide, you will actually see that there is a little profile from them. You know, what species do they derive from? Um, how do they usually live? You know, what yeah, so it's for the tortura, animals. yeah, yes. for, the, for, yeah. The, for, the, for the turtle, but um, okay, there yeah. So it's educational and relatable. And each animal actually has a superpower. Uh, like for my rhino, uh, there's the, the horn. Mm -hmm. They claim to have um, medical, um, magical powers. So that's kind of what we used as his superpower. And then mine has the super hearing because they can hear like super far away. So. Okay. Yeah, and then the hippo, which is the one I did, she has unmatched swimming skills. So no, beating Michael Phelps. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Better than a shark. <laughs> Better than a shark. No one can touch her. <laughs> <coughs> Mine has decelerated aging, as it can rate, you know, age over 100 years old. It has a large protective uh, shell, and not to mention, um, it also. Uh, I know you want to. I know you want to do it again. I, yeah. you, you did it once. You're in love with the tour. I like that. Gigantism. But, also. Yeah. But that's why we did it. it. It because it brought something out from us, and yeah. we're adults, right? What what would it do for the kids? Yeah, um, you, it, were kids you, were, you were kids here. Yeah. You were kids here. That's yeah. good. You were all enthusiastic, which is which is very good with presentations. And I must say, um, when I went to my, I took my family, so I did spend a good amount of money, and I didn't feel special. So uh, I just went to a conference this week, and we just had lanyards, and just walking around the hotel, you know you're part of a group. So this, this really, I think, would help just distinguish the fact that you have customers that are VIP. So I think it would definitely help. Yeah, that's a good idea. Depends also, of course, of their budget and, and volunteers. Yeah. But definitely, some good ideas. Positioning wise, so how do you want them to? How do you want the San Antonio population to see these four tours? Well, um. What do you want them to? Can you, Sorry. What do you want them to? For example, when somebody says behind the scene, what do you want to pop up? Superheroes. Um, kids can relate to. That's what we want. Something that maybe they can be when they grow up. Uh, I I think like an experience like that a guy that says an impact on your life. When are you gonna go touch a rhino? Which even though my tour was not amazing, when I touched the rhino, I'm like, when am I ever gonna do this? Um, so it, it. it was really fascinating to do that. <laughs> How many of you went to the tour? <laughs> well, I just said, okay. And I was going to go to the copy, but for some reason it wasn't there. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. available. You took it off. Okay. So that also, I was kind of discouraged. I'm like, how do you promote it and then just take it off one week? So um, continuous, you know. That's why they ask for help, so. Yeah. yeah. Are you, I uh, wanted to ask you about the survey, but then you mentioned it's 102. Yes. Uh, that was just one day. Yeah. Oh, we, yeah, the, we shared the, it on our Facebook. So that's it's okay. It's 102. It's pretty good. That quickly. Uh, the, you mentioned education during the presentation, but I think they do the educational part. Because remember when Brian was here, he was talking about how they actually going to have a kindergarten on site there. So they're going to start with that. There well, they have a school. school. Yeah. They have a school. Sorry, preschool. But yeah. I think uh, what we kind of want to do, there's, there's 
over 500 schools in San Antonio. And if you just send them a flyer to the art teachers, just get the kids to work, because I didn't know, and I've gone to the zoo several times. It wasn't until this class that I knew they had behind the scenes. Right, right. So it's more educational on like, not mm -hmm. just just what they're doing, right? What's what's available out there? Because when you're people people ask me all the time, what's there to do in San Antonio? I've lived here my whole life. I don't know half the sh stuff, right? I don't know half the stuff here. But things like this is, that pop up on your Facebook. Did you know you can go see and meet the giraffe and take a picture with it, right? Just fun tidbits. It helps. Yeah, or like, did you know Tim the, Timothy the Hippo currently has a romance with, or wants to have a romance with Fiona the Hippo from the Cincinnati Zoo? Stuff like that gets people engaged and want, oh, let's go see Timothy. Let's go see this Romeo. Since you mentioned Cincinnati, it's good. You you checked all this behind the scenes around they have America. They a lot more and, uh, different, a uh, lot more animals than four. And, and you have that in the paper, right? Yeah, under yes. the distribution. Okay, awesome. Are that weird? Yay! Oh. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> uh, I guess you can just 